Hi, it's Kylie Koo. Welcome to my studio. So, on to the next page in my 52-week concertina accordion journal. I want to start by doing something a little bit different this week. I was trying to think about what I could do differently on my page and I thought I might use some waxed papers. Uh, I don't have a big supply to hand, so I'm just going to quickly make a few that I can use today and I thought, well, why not show you how I, how I make them? Uh, I'm already covered in ink. I've literally... Ink, ink and paint. I've literally just sat down at my desk and I swear the paint jumps up and hits me. Anyway, let's get started. I would love to get into encaustics, but I've never gone down that route. I might someday, but who knows. But what I'm not looking to do is that kind of thick encaustic layer. I just want to add some ink, uh, not some ink, some wax to some papers. And I've pulled out a few scraps, I don't know if I'll get them all done. Just some basic pieces, little tiny scraps left over, some map pieces, some little bits that I'd previously made marks on. I think that was alcohol ink. I've never tried waxing anything with alcohol ink on it. So I'm going to give that a go. Might do some of this as a voiceover because it could take a little while. But all I'm going to basically use is a little tea light candle. So that will just pull out the holder. It's sat for ages, untouched, even got a nice bit of dust on it. And all I'm going to do is simply peel little bits off. I've got some waxed paper here. This is just a bit of kind of waxed deli paper. I've already got a piece of... Uh, I, it's like a kind of parchment paper, I guess, underneath that, that I just sometimes use. So I'm just going to literally scrape off some pieces. Obviously got to be careful with wax when melting it. Like a lot of these things you need to kind of be in a ventilated area. I'm fine in my studio here so I'm not going to worry too much about that. I probably won't need an awful lot. You can cut it a lot smaller than this. I'm just being quite rough and ready about it. So that's probably enough to get me going. I'd love to use beeswax as well. I don't have any of that at the moment. Uh, I find it more difficult to melt down. This I can kind of do in a small space like this. So I'm just going to take a few little scraps. Don't know how this will do on the acrylic, but uh, I think that was stamped acrylic. But I'm just going to put a few, won't really take a lot, a few flakes on each to melt. Just trying to get a few pieces of interest. Don't need anything as big as that, so put that there. Uh, let's try a bit of this with the alcohol ink. And let's try a bit with the map. I'll keep that a little bit bigger because I'll need various sizes. Just going to scrape off another couple of pieces just to get it right on there. I've probably got too much because a little really does go a long way. Now I don't want these blowing about so what I'm going to do is take another piece of this waxed deli paper and just lay that on top. Then I'm going to take my heat tool, which I've put out of reach, and I'm literally just going to start to, to melt these. So I'll dull the sound at this point and possibly take some of this out. I'm going to use my scissors just to hold things in place because obviously it can get a little bit hot. So you can probably see there that that is starting to melt. So I'm just going to keep going with this a little bit longer and then we'll go on to the next stage. So I just did that next bit off camera. 
I'm just going to pull these back. I think I'm going to need more wax. I thought I might have a, enough there. You can see some of it starting to dry already. That's because my studio is quite cool today, so I do want to get a bit more on them. You can see the way the map's starting to go, kind of translucent. But let's get more on. I'll just give it a good covering, then I'll be back. them over. I'm now going to do the same thing on the other side. Some are working better than others, that's to be expected. I think the more absorbent work better. Still got quite a bit of wax on this. I could heat this and lay it down, but I'm just going to, for speed I think, just do a bit more on this side. This is one of these uh, projects where it's good to kind of mass make pieces, you know, you don't, well, I prefer not to be doing this every time I want to use them. So making up a nice little batch of them, different papers, with different finishes, etc. Now, I did have a piece where I spilt glue, uh, not glue, ink this morning. I might add that in as well. Don't know how this will go. Let's see. I don't even know if it's fully dry yet, but never mind. We shall try it. Right, let's try that down again. Okay, now of course you do have to be careful at this point because wax can be hot and can stick to the fingers. So I'm going to have to let them dry, but that piece has turned out really well. You can still see the acrylic, but this piece has gone, you know, kind of translucent. Same with little bits of dictionary page. I'll do a little bit more on, on these. These already had tiny bits of ink on them. This, not so much, but it's okay. I like the way this little piece has gone. You can almost just see tiny little bits through it as well with the design. This, not so much, but again, I can use that. Map, maybe just needs a little bit more. You can definitely feel the wax on it. And this piece definitely needs a bit more on these kind of areas. So I'm just going to work on these for another minute or two. Still got plenty of uh, candle wax on there. So I think I'll focus on the ones that I want just a little bit more on, if I can get it. these off to the side to dry. Well they are dry but just to harden even more. I did that the other way around I think. That's a waxy bit. I'll 
Okay, I'll melt this and then I'll be back. Right. Need to cool. I'm going to do one more. I've got this piece of tissue paper. It's got acrylic paint on it and I'm going to stamp onto it. I've got a, it's a sort of script stamp here. I've had it for years. And I'm just going to stamp onto that and I don't know whether to do the back or the front. Do there. And then I'm going to wax it and see how it turns out. Maybe a bit heavy on the ink, but not to worry. So we'll see how this turns out. I'll give it a quick dry, just to dry the ink. Sorry, there's actually already wax on here, so I'm going to heat that. I think it's that side. Yep, I'm going to heat that, lay it down. Hopefully it will absorb it from the bottom. And then I'll put this other bit on from this side. And there might actually be enough wax on here just to do it. So you can see that's starting to become more translucent. So all the areas that didn't have paint on, you can now basically see through and you can still see the script. So I'm just going to put a little bit more on it, just working with what I've got on here and then I'll be back. So I think that's going to do that nicely. almost looks like a bit like a map as well. So I'm going to look at all these pieces and see which pieces I want to use on my page this week. Just going to let them dry. I'll keep that paper because I can use that wax again. Just a reminder, well ventilated area because there are fumes come up from that. This is my page. don't know if this will work. I'm going to see if I can again melt the little bit of wax that's there and just see if I can get a little bit of it on here. Not bothered about too much. So here's how it's looking. Let's go. Okay, so there's some tiny bits, not a lot. But I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to do something else with this. So I'm going to use a little bit of white gesso. I'll do this on both sides, so mainly just on the front. This gesso is very thick and I'm just going to scrape it on. Take it to the edges in places, it doesn't need to be all over. Quite a thin layer. And just do my kind of usual of kind of scraping through it. I'm going to dry it and then do the exact same on the other side.
I didn't add any more base pages to this because I quite like the, the kind of uh, newspaper type script that was on there. So it might be a little bit thinner than the, the rest, but that's okay. I'm now just going to add some ink. Up a bit. And I'm just going to use some sepia Dela Rowney FW ink and just cover both sides. I'll spray a bit with water as well. So, both sides done. you see that the ink has grabbed into where I put the marks. It's generally coloured the gesso. That's where there was no gesso. I think these little bits are probably where some wax had gone onto it. Same on this side. Nice grungy look to this. Of course the card underneath, because it wasn't treated with anything, it's gone quite dark in places. So nice, grungy, aged looking. So I'm now just going to take my waxed pieces and I'm just going to do one side and I'm just going to sit and look at how I might put these on. Now, Amy, who is the recycled hippie chick, was asking a few weeks ago in her video that I'd linked at the time, and I'll link it again. Just a bit about my process and seeing how I kind of addition things and take things away and move them. And that's true. I'm, I'm, I, I suppose what I'm looking for at times is just composition. But at other times I'm simply putting them down to kind of measure them and see what might fit best or whether I want to make it a little bit shorter. In this instance, it's actually quite a shame to cover some of this background up, but, you know, everything is about lessons, learning lessons, and just seeing where all of that takes us. Now, I like the organic shape of that. The other thing she was talking about was, does something need a resting place? I don't, you know, for the eyes, I don't think it does. I think it depends on the piece. You can see some pieces are very, very detailed and you would think there's no resting space. But uh, it still works. Actually feeling with this that I don't want to put too much onto it. I'm liking it as is. I think 
I'm just going to take this piece and see if it will cross you a little bit and just give it a bit more interest. So some of the wax will come off it. Now you can see it's just put lines through it. So it just adds another bit of interest, another bit of texture. One of the things I do try and do is not to have too many straight lines. So if I was putting that together, that to me doesn't feel quite right because it's like a straight line. So I would offset that. But you know, it's down to each individual and what, what they see and what they feel looks right to them. I don't know that I want this whole thing. I quite like this little bit at the end, it's clear like it as a piece in its entirety and it would almost go on there in its entirety quite nicely. Let's try it. going to bring in a little bit. It's hard to see against a darker background, I think. This bit just feels too big, so I'm just going to tear it down. was just tearing off the straight edge there. I wasn't liking that. Also looking here that I've got three pieces that are kind of running vertically so it's good to have a piece going across the way and I almost feel as if there's one other piece needed to go across but not a huge piece. Maybe this under here. I think I'm going to go with that. I'm going to take this little edge off because this is going to bother me. Quite dark, quite grungy. Can't see a lot of the detail. That's fine. So I'm now just going to glue all this down. I think I'm just going to use gel mat medium. Hope that that sticks. If it ends up in a slightly different place that's fine because sometimes I adjust as I go along. I'm going to have to wait this.
little bit of that ink there wasn't fully dry, it had gone on a bit thicker, but that's that's okay, it just looks like a line. I'm not scraping too much because obviously there is the wax still sitting on it. Love the little pops of orange and green. Right, next piece. Yeah, I've already forgotten. Okay, I'm going to leave that to dry for a little while and then I'll do my usual gold round the edge. Uh, I'm not going to use the heat tool on it, although I don't think there's any reason why not. It would melt the uh, wax a bit again, which is, is fine. Yeah, but we'll leave it for a few minutes. So I've ended up heating this with my heat tool because I felt that I actually wasn't seeing right through that particular paper. So I've lost the nice bit of pattern that it had in it because I'm now smoothing it out. Because I just want to be able to see and know more the piece under here. So I've lost that bit of detail. But what I've gained instead is the kind of translucent effect. Not so much with this one, of course, 
just because it's a different heavier paper. But what I know I'm not liking, I can, this was the alcohol ink paper, so I can live with these dark bits, I'm just not keen on these kind of bright pink bits that have suddenly appeared. So I'm simply going to use some gold to disguise those. Uh, so I'm going to go round this in gold in the way that I usually would, but I'm also going to put some down on there. this bit first. There is the tiniest bit of gold on there anyway. I don't mind it peeking through a little, I just don't want it as prominent. And down here. And now I'll just go round the edge as usual. So the truth of it is you're never done until you're done. I ended up taking a little bit of the gold back off it. I just felt it was too much in the end and covered up some of the the nice papers that I'd actually quite liked. So that's the way of it sometimes. You keep seeing things that you want to do a little bit more on. Uh, I will have a video coming up next week, a very short video. Uh, it might be of some, might be something of interest to you. Uh, do look out for that. And uh, I'll be back with a, the next page next week and I'm going to be doing some more wax papers in the not too distant, a greater range and let you see them. So thanks ever so much for watching. Do take care. Bye for now.